There's a growing chorus of reputable real estate analysts who are forecasting that residential property prices will rise in 2023. In contrast to the predictions of economists working for the big banks and other institutions, specialist real estate researchers see prices growing in the year ahead. Now, no one's forecasting price rises like we saw in 2021, where the national average was a, an, an increase above 25%. Rather, most credible analysts are suggesting price growth that could be described as solid or moderate. And that's certainly how we see it at Hotspotting. And we note that a growing number of well-credentialed analysts have similar views to ours. Experienced real estate professional Louis Christopher of SQM Research recently published his annual boom and bust report in which he stated, as his base case scenario, that house price rises would occur in 2023 in all capital cities except Darwin. Now, as always the case with the housing boom and bust report, Louis Christopher presents a range of scenarios with different estimates of the impacts on property prices. And the four different scenarios presented assume particular outcomes with interest rates, inflation, and unemployment. But under his base case, the one that he expects to happen, Christopher broadly assumes that unemployment will not rise very high, that inflation will peak and then come back down again, and that the Reserve Bank will stop lifting the official interest rate in the first half of 2023. And under this base case, he's predicting moderate but solid price growth across Australia generally, with the capital city average being a rise of up to 7%. According to Christopher, Sydney will do best, with prices potentially rising by almost 10%, with Perth next best with an increase of about 8%. In each case, he is expecting single-digit growth, and at hotspotting, we think he's been quite conservative in his forecasts. Now, Simon Prisley of Propertyology, one of the few analysts to correctly project the 2020-2021 property boom, he is also forecasting positive price outcomes in the coming year. And longtime Brisbane real estate research analyst Michael Matuzic recently published a report which showed that Australia has a significant shortage of homes with demand exceeding supply. And this, he said, would tend to put upward pressure on property prices in 2023. Now, our view at Hotspotting is that most markets across Australia will deliver some level of price growth in 2023. There will be regional differences, as is usually the case in real estate, but the general trend will be solid increases in prices. The key national factors Influencing markets will include these. Firstly, the shortage of homes relative to demand, and that's going to continue, probably get worse before it gets better. The serious undersupply of rental properties, the ongoing growth as a consequence in residential rentals, the return of overseas migrants and students with borders now open, and indeed the increase in the migrant intake by the federal government, the ongoing strength in the Australian economy with unemployment remaining quite low, and the impetus from major infrastructure projects would generate a lot of economic activity and jobs, and also the end of the cycle of rising interest rates. These are some of the, the key national factors, but ultimately real estate markets are local affairs and some locations will outperform others. The new edition of the Rising Stars report published by Hotspotting in conjunction with the comparison site CanStar we rank the 14 major market jurisdictions across the nation based on a series of forward-looking indicators. In the Rising Stars report, we rate the top four markets in terms of prospects for 2023 as Adelaide, Brisbane, Perth, and regional Queensland. Now, other locations across Australia will also deliver price growth, and generally, there will be moderate to steady increases in most parts of the nation next year.